Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first episode of This Week on Twitter. Now, let me tell you what we're going to be doing on this podcast. I'm going to be sitting here at the end of every week, preferably on Sunday, and I'm going to be telling you guys what I saw this week that really had my mind saying, wait a second, what is that? What is that? Now, obviously, for something to stand out to you, it has to resonate with you. It has to really get into your mind. So most likely, I'm going to be using my personal experiences on this podcast. So oops, if you don't want to hear that, just tune out now. This is not for you. Anyway, let's jump right into this. I'm so excited. Now, as I was saying, we've just come from the festive season. Everybody was going to Cabo. Bitches was going to Mexico. Bitches was going to New York. Everybody was having a good old time going for their... What are they called? Holiday holiday retreats, vacation, black girl in luxury. And the main question that I kept on seeing coming up on Twitter is, would you go on these trips with your broke friend? Now, this tweet was really, these tweets, because uh, it was various tweets I saw discussing the whole broke friend, rich friend dynamic. Would you invite them, etc. Now, these tweets really, really showed me something. Now, if you know me or if you don't know me, I am the person to get a bargain. I will never stop until I get a great bargain. And nine times out of five, anything above one shilling is too expensive. <laughs> like, I hate having to pay for shit, which is obviously a red flag in itself. But I'm, I'm grown enough to accept that. Now, as I read these tweets, I could only reflect on myself now let me say this as i'm even sitting down right now i have shampoo in my hair i haven't showered because the water in my house keeps going on and off on and off and it's honestly as a result of me just wanting to get cheap shit and wanting to be cheap now what i will say is when you're cheap things just end up being expensive in the end because now i'm faced with moving out facing all of these things and you always end up paying extra than what you would have paid had you not been cheap but i just want to hop on here and talk about how to know you are the cheap friend because i saw a lot of you people in the comment section saying could never be me i love to spend money on a good time i love to watch watch, watch. and the thing is i am those people in my mind who thinks could never be me i have to spend money on a good time i only spend on things that matter to me but that's not true because the thing is whenever a spending opportunity comes my first thing is never the enjoyment and never the good time and only what will it cost me I just want to hop on here and actually help those of you who are in denial of whether you're not the cheap friend. I want to tell you today, if you qualify on these statuses, you are, and I promise you, you are the cheap friend. Number one. When you're the cheap friend, you're always busy when there's time for enjoyment. Like, I I don't know how I can explain this. Whenever there's, oh my gosh, we're going to lunch. Oh my gosh, we're going where? For one, you always complain that, that nobody ever invites you anywhere. Nobody ever does this and that. And then people are like, okay, let's invite her. But you're always busy when they invite you. Unless it's something very easy, like let's go to my house and watch a movie. And it's nothing cost intensive. You are always busy when there's something to be done. And this is like a personal thing. I can tell you for free if you invite me somewhere and I know that the price is going to be more than free then I'm not I'm just not I'm probably not gonna do it I'm probably gonna be busy I'm gonna be doing this I'm gonna be doing that and I'm so sorry to everybody hearing this is the first time today that nine times out of ten is because I don't have money now as somebody who if you're a friend to a person who is cheap I know many of my friends and I know this is such a huge burden to ask on people but I know many of my friends if they like want to hang out with me they already know this in advance and so the whole Twitter discussion as I was seeing I couldn't even accurately apply it to myself because I'm like none of my friends are gonna ask me to go to a to a three thousand dollar vacation because they know I can't afford that and I just think they already know that it's like if you ask that girl she'd be busy and as a cheap friend i can't catch feelings because it's like oh would you have even afforded it anyway though would you really have afforded it and that brings me to my second one when the bill comes when you're finally out let's say you've decided okay fine i'm gonna close my eyes because cheap people can do that they're like okay i'm gonna close my eyes i'm gonna go out tonight i'm gonna have a blast i'm gonna have a good ass time i'm gonna shake my ass on a yacht in dubai shake my ass on a yacht in dubai See, see that Ariana Grande, yeah. Anyway, so when you finally decide you're gonna go out and shake your ass on a yacht, the issue now becomes the bill. So when the bill comes, how to know you're the cheap friend is when the bill comes and the bill is looking, it's giving like really five thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. You nobody looks at you. 
<laughs> nobody ever looks at you to help them fix this issue because it's like they already know this bitch is about to tell us she ain't got no money this bitch is already about to tell us that she's busy she's done what she's done what she's what like everybody already knows to not rely on you financially and don't get me wrong you can rely on your cheap friend for emotional support and mental health stability and all these things calling to check up on you but never get it twisted that their financials will ever be reliable never get it twisted and it's not that they're broke or anything they are just a cheapskate and i will say this with my full chest on this podcast because who is going to come and beat me you guys don't know my address there's probably plenty of houses where i'm living right now that there's no water but all i'm saying is never ever rely on the cheap friend to be able to help you financially and for you the cheap friend there's just such tell all signs tell all tales that you are that bitch and and never let me tell you something never feel bad for being that bitch because if you stand in your truth you stand in your own five legs they they knew when they were inviting you out that this bitch ain't got no money this bitch has already scoured the menu she already knows she's having the 300 300 shilling burger she's she never calculated for all these extra costs that you people are trying to impose on everybody so if you as your cheap friend you you know that when the bill comes ain't nobody checking for you honey so what you looked for is what exactly you, what you look for on the website to be eating and to be ordering that's exactly what you're gonna order that's what exactly what you're gonna pay for and i'm so sorry to be the bearer of bad news now the next thing i want to talk about when with regards to how to know you are the cheap friend how I don't know you are the cheap bitch is there is always a reason why something is trash unless someone offers to buy it for you now guys recently and i hope i am able to put this um video up i recently was invited to go to a boat trip and it was like a very nice yacht trip and two of them were actually organized so one of them was 2000 the other one was 1000 and now i started really shit like they asked my friends asked me let's go to the boat trip i'm like oh my gosh yes 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 and then they're like um there's the 2000 one and there's the 1000 one and when they said 2000 guys so, so then they're like, okay, the boat trip is 2,000 rupees. And I'm like, oh, oh, hold a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up for the girl. Then. So I'm like, 2,000? What the fuck? What are we going to do on a 2,000 yard boat, on, on a 2,000 boat trip? What, what, what? And they start telling me all the benefits of the boat trip. And let me not lie, guys. Like, at the bottom of my heart, I'm like, Jesus Christ, that, like, swimming with the goddamn dwarfins? The dwarfins? You was never ready for that. I wanted to go so badly, but I was imagining 2,000 rupees leaving my bank account and like I just got an itch. I got a tingle. I think it's actually a mental illness to be that cheap. Like I could physically feel the the withdrawals from not having that 2,000 in my bank account. So they tell me about this one and I say, oh my God, no, that's trash. I'm not going on that. I'm not doing that. So now another one comes up and it's 1,000 rupees, the second one now. But at that time I was being told about the first one. I didn't know about the second one. So the second one now is 1,000. And as they tell me about the second one and they're like okay this one is like an entire 1000 rupees cheaper you can still make it you can still go and like now i'm in a tight spot because the thing with friends with money is they try to accommodate for you the cheap friend and it's always such an issue because they don't understand that you the cheap friend doesn't just want to pay anything you want to experience the life but you don't have to have you don't want to have to pay for the experiences which can never just you can never make it you end up in mcdonald's and that's what i'm telling you what am i even saying mcdonald's is too expensive anyway but the second boat trip now they asked me to go they're like 1000 rupees i'm like um you know you don't even have an excuse at that point because it's like okay fuck it's an entire 1000 rupees cheaper what am i gonna say what am i gonna do so so i now start to try to congregate things in my mind i'm like oh, actually like i can't go like i really don't have money and they're like what do you mean like bitch you're getting your hair done because at that point i was getting my hair done they're like you literally have money to get your hair done you have money for this like why are you lying and i'm just like itching now because the issue isn't that i can't go the issue is that I just feel like I have serious, like you see, I fear that, and I don't know, I've never taken drugs, but I fear that the day that I do take drugs and then I stop, I'll realize that those withdrawals are the same as having to spend money. <laughs> I just, I, I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a problem. And that's just another tell-all tale that, or tell-all sign that you are the cheap friend, that everything is always trash if it involves you spending money. If it doesn't involve you spending money, then there's, there's no problem. There's no problem for you guys to go f to have a picnic at the beach, to do what you're doing. But the, prop the issue now comes when money is involved. Now, the last thing that I wanted to get on here and say is how to know you're a cheap friend is you 
deals or like things that say promo get the better of you even when you 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 don't expect you let me tell you supermarkets are fucking bastards because any time that i enter a supermarket there's always a promo and being the cheap girl that i am whenever i see like they've crossed let's say it's like 56,000 or like no 56,000 am i silly 56 56 rupees or something so it's 56 rupees i enter the store i say oh my gosh it's 56 rupees but then i i come back in the evening and it cancelled the 56 and now it says 55.90 i'm like yes i made a deal and i got what i needed to get period so when i now met um my boyfriend he now literally he observed this about me because he 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 he's not really so miserly with money as i am so he observed this about me that i only buy things when they're on sale if the thing is not on sale i'm probably nine times out of ten not gonna buy it so now he's like you do realize that they do this to get you people like to get you cheapskate people and he's just like look like he now showed me physically the difference between the prices and he's like it's literally like two cents that's between these two prices so why do you feel the need to do all this and i was like oh my god like that's what i said at the beginning of this podcast that cheap is expensive you will try to be cheap and evade all these things but in the end let me tell you we live in a capitalistic world so you're never not gonna pay money like i don't know how to say it bro you're never not gonna pay money you just have to learn how to gain coping mechanisms when you start catching anxiety because you're like oh my god it's too cheap oh my gosh it's so much and i know many people don't have this as a problem but for me it's a main problem and i just wanted to get on here because i saw this discussion on twitter and i said wait a second wait a second wait a second this feels like it's a bit of may but anyway yeah that's the end of episode one of this week on twitter i hope you enjoyed this podcast i really enjoyed making it comment down below whatever you want to see send me twitter posts my twitter handle is at page kiarie so yeah let's get talking let's get the discussions flowing and i will see you next week sunday bye